So today I'm going to be teaching you how to train your dog to not lick faces on command. This is a great skill, particularly for people who have house guests who do not like when dogs lick their faces. A lot of people think that dogs licking around their mouth is gross and disgusting and unhygienic. And while I personally don't mind it, I can see why they don't like it and think it's gross. I can sympathize. Um, so to do this, you are going to get your dog to lick your face and then prompt your dog to stop. I did this initially by tilting my head back a little bit um, just to break it. And as soon as they pause, you're going to click with your clicker and give them a treat. Um, and keep doing this. Eventually you will pair it with a verbal cue to stop them. The word I use is chill. I think it's a good way to get her to relax. Hey, can you hang up? Thank you. And now we are ready to demonstrate. Rosie, are you sweeter? Yeah. Rosie, chill. So she stops. I click to give her a treat. And can start again. Rosie, hey. Oh, good girl. Rosie, chill. Good girl. And initially you're going to treat every single time. And as it gets stronger, you'll eventually do it half and half. So this time I'm going to do it, but I'm uh, not going to give her a treat. Hey, Rosie, come here. Can I have some kisses? Rosie, chill. Good girl. And this is to teach them that um, not every single time they're going to get Can you come over here? Thank you. So yeah, it's just rinse and repeat. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Rosie, chill. Good job. Um, eventually you do want your dog to be able to do it without any treats. Um, but whenever you, whenever your dog does something that you ask them to do, you should still thank them for doing what you asked them to do, whether it's giving them verbal praise, petting them, getting them a toy, um, just to let them know that you are grateful for obeying you. Um, and that's about it. Happy training!